Hey everyone, my name is Luke, uh, and I'm a pretty ordinary 13-year-old girl. Um, I mean, I'm cis, um, I'm not even close to poor, and I'm pretty well off as a human. And I, I felt the need to talk about this for everybody who doesn't already know. Uh, recently, a, uh, incredibly beautiful, um, 17-year-old girl, um, Leela Alcor, I believe, I believe it's, I believe that's how you pronounce her last name, um, committed suicide, and it's, it's very tragic what happened. She was transgender, and for those of you who don't know what that means, it means that she was born a male, but obviously was not, and did not identify as such. Um, this, this was a really sad thing. Her parents did not accept her, and it's beyond disgusting what they did. Um, they refused to call her a girl. They refused to say that she was indeed female. They refused to help her through her transition. They refused to even call her Leela. They continued to call her Joshua. And it's so sad and tragic what happened. And even now in like interviews, they still, they still are calling her their son and saying that she was a good boy, and they buried her in a suit, her tombstone is not correct, and it's, it's heartbreaking, really, because I have transgender friends, and they're really great, and I love them dearly, and it's terrible seeing the amount of pain that people can go through because don't get me wrong I can't relate but I've I've have been excluded for the same silly reasons um and it's it's really just so sad because these are things I would never want to have happen to the people in my life because I love and care about them so much and if their parents didn't accept them. Um, just today, one of my friends, uh, he spoke to his mom and dad about using correct pronouns and they were totally down with it. And that's how everybody should be. Everybody should be totally up for using the correct pronouns. Because it's just really mean and rude and disrespectful to do that to someone. We're, we're all here for you, Leela. Everyone. We're all here. Even the ones who are like, she deserved it, or he deserved it, I suppose, if you're really that bigoted. Um, they're, they're wrong. You were, you were a really strong and powerful woman, and you could have gone so far. And it's such a shame that, that, opportunity has been taken from you. But, of course, there's nothing we can do about that now. She's gone. And the only thing we can do is hope this doesn't happen again and spread awareness to make sure it doesn't. So, right now, if you're watching this and you're going through a similar situation, just know that we're here for you. All of Bravest Five. Um... And we all care a lot about you. And to all of all of the young men and all of the young women who are watching this, I just want you to know that we care a lot. A lot of people care. And and I know that's hard to see right now, but we do. And um you can feel free to message me on Tumblr. I'll put my Tumblr in the down bar.
um, and I will, I will try to help you as best I can, um, and to the Lila's parents, screw you, <laughs> like, you, I don't really have much to say, but if you are not prepared to take care of a child who is gay, or a child who is trans, or a child who is disabled, or a child who is not as normal as you would want them to be, then you're not ready to raise a child. And until you have gotten past your bigotry, do not raise a child, because we don't need children in the world being raised by you. So that's my thoughts on the whole situation. I hope that you guys like this video. This will probably be the last one on Braves 5 since the channel is breaking up. We will be having a new channel starting soon. Uh, and I hope that you guys are all doing well. I'll have a great New Year's. And anybody who has not made it to this year, um, I am very, I'm very proud of you for making it as far as you did. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!